Alright gang bro, welcome back to some old GTA 5. Expanded and hands on the PS5. I feel like I've been saying that so much. <laughs> Over the past few weeks or however long it been going on, bro. Um the funny thing about this bro is the way I'm doing my videos, bro, I'm recording these like massive amounts. I'm recording like bundles upon bundles of videos. So like all these videos is being recorded within a day. Of, of you know what I'm saying like within one day and y'all just getting them over the course of you know what I'm saying days or weeks or however long it take me to beat this game brody but here we go bro um I'm already out here at Leicester um garment factory we finna get ready to crank up this bureau ray um heist or whatever I'm gonna try my best my goal is to get the bureau raid heist in this video but if I don't, then I don't. I, I just try to get everything in the video without making the video extremely long. You know what I'm saying? I try to make my videos at least 30 to 45 minutes long anyway. But I try not to go like super long. You know what I'm saying? I try to just make my my part ones be over the hour and everything else a little bit under that. But without further ado, man, enough of me talking. Let's get into this next mission, Brody. I'm actually kind of excited for this, bro. I don't remember how I always do this heist, though. Just enjoying a little labor dispute. See, we're about to do something really really bad so i need to present myself as a proper textile magnet so, so you stop making anything nothing looks more suspicious in america than someone who's actually prepared to make something <laughs> jesus what about you oh pocket trevor we're having some problems brad yeah what else let's see anyway the Union Depository is on hold for now. He can't do it without him, especially now that he knows. Thank God you guys are here. You alone? Davey, where's your boyfriend, Steve? He's on his way up. Yeah, they're up here. Listen, this shit's about to hit the fan. Our entire lives together has been nothing but a series of fans and shits. Sort this problem out for me, and I will get Mr. Leisure Wear off your back. And if we don't? Then I will go to jail and you will get shot. Ah, fuck you, Dave. I've heard it all before. Not like this, you haven't. Has he briefed you? Oh, well, yes, he has. He told us that if we do what you say, then together we can take down the big bad wolf that is government <laughs> corruption. Yeah, and if you don't, we're all gonna fry. Because the agency's onto us. I've even got some fools in our own bureau that are questioning my methods. <laughs> Think I'm a liar, <laughs> a cheater, some kind of a killer and a thief. So? So, there's some, uh, Evidence, and I need you guys to find out what they know. All right, so what? You want Lester here to hack into the system, wipe it all clean? No, 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 that will not work. The only way to access it is through your buildings. Oh, fuck me. <laughs> Michael, you'd be doing me a very big favor. And if you do this, I will make sure that all your files are deleted. I promise you. Hey, it's the last thing we do, and we're done. Period. Of course. I'm a man of my word. Dave, let's go. Come on, Lester, let's go. Good luck, gentlemen. All right, bro. Here we go, bro. Take so now we got to go in um, try to find us a way in to the bureau, bro. Like I said, this mission right here not really that fun either. So this is pretty much like casing the this? bureau. Scope it out? Uh, not really, but I thought we'd start by finding a way into the building. We're going in through the parking lot? No, no, no. no. We're waiting for someone to come out of it. A janitor. All right. And how's that going to get us in? Well, the janitors are all on temp contracts. They get replaced when their backs go, or they ask for a day off. So, we find one of these guys, we turn him, and that's our end. Okay. They're a particular guy? I'm in the temp company's database right now. I found a guy about to clock off. I've got the file here. Let me see. Harvey Molina, license plate 83QSL722. We'll follow him, see what we think. Sounds good. How the hell does this temp database know this man driver's license plate number though? That's crazy to me. That's so unrealistic. I don't know. I ain't gonna say it's unrealistic. It just don't sound like something that a temp place should know. Like why do they why do they fucking care about what your license plate number are. is? I don't know. That's Let's weird. Alright, bro, wait for the janitor's car. I think I don't know. I'm trying to remember how you do this mission. I know how to do it, but I'm trying to remember. Uh, Here we go. I don't know. Let's see. 
Uh, not our guy. Yeah, that's not it. I know so it's like the third or fourth um, guy. Up situation. But I don't know if you're supposed I to look at each one or just look at done, the the right doing one. These stupid jobs until they don't have to kill you because someone else has done it for them. Yeah, that sounds about right. To be honest, bro, if y'all really think about what Lester just said, that's really what happened to John Marston at the end of his game. That's it? Is this it? Nope. Nope. I know it's like so the third or fourth do? one. But well, yeah, bro, um, John Marston, that's what happened, bro. He kept doing all this stuff for the government. Inside, then once they was done with him, him they killed him at the end of the out. game. That's exactly yeah, how it was. The way out is exactly what I need. I'm trying to remember. I think it's the third or the fourth guy. Third or the fourth guy. What Lester talking about? Nothing ugly. Is this him? What's I don't think this? this him. Is this him? I don't think this him. Yeah, that's not that's him. That's not it. So it's the fourth guy. It's hard to get motivated on a job without financial incentive. You can't put a price on freedom. Well, that spur won't be there for the crew. Now, I'm gonna ask Mr. Haynes for a budget. Maybe the leftover cash from the Polito score. We need something. Yeah, see what you can do. Yeah, bro, that damn Polito score, bro. I can't believe that, bro. We ended up getting over. Well, we officially got like pretty much Something's $8 million dollars from this. But no, nah, that's not, not him neither. We're looking for. Oh shit! So it's the fifth car. I remember it being like the third or the fourth car. Maybe they change it up ever so often. I did they do it for expanded and enhanced? <laughs> Maybe they switched it up for that. I don't know. Holy shit! Oh again, look at look how untextured the left like the um the window blinds and all that. There he go right there. No, that's not him. Yeah, that's him. That's him. Stay behind him, but don't let him see you. Right, here we go, bro. So, there we got, bro. We got us a little tailing mission. Like I said, bro, this mission not that fun. Ain't What's nothing gonna happen. Gonna happen. This guy gets but we just tailing going. this guy. He's gonna get his severance package. Huh, I can't tell if that's some creepy euphemism or a plain statement of facts. It's whatever you want it to be. <laughs> okay. Here we go. Um, I don't know what happens if you get super close to him. I don't never really get close to him. I pretty much stay back here all the time. And um, whatever. I don't know if you gotta like not get hey, close to him at all, the or the just don't crash into him or whatever. I don't know. No surfing while I'm trying to tail this guy. It's work related. Yeah, well, I'd prefer all hands on deck right now, if it's okay with you. God, you're worse than my son. You wanna break into the FIB's West Coast headquarters? You're gonna need more than a janitor's license plate number. And let me work on some angles while you uh, keep this car behind that one and between these white lines. That's it. I mean, other than a few missing expletives in terms of racial abuse, that was my son in spades. <laughs> you trying to say that, that Lester, Lester pretty much reminded him of Jimmy just then. That's funny. Wow. Bro really just cut me off, but that's smooth though. That actually works out in my favor. So now that should keep a little bit of the heat down from me. And I should be able to drive a little closer without him getting spooked. I ain't gonna lie though, that damn truck had me kind of fucked up just then. Bro, they never had to cut me off like right. that, bro. He's just did a straight asshole driver move. What do we need from him? Move. We need cooperation and maybe his overalls and an ID. And if he don't cooperate? You know what it's like to clean up shit for Steve Haynes? He'll cooperate. Here we go. There's actually two ways you could do this mission. You can actually come in as fire, fire, um, you come in as the fire department or you can do the janitor thing. I think I'm gonna do the janitor thing. I think the janitor thing, the funnest way to do this, um, this heist. Holy shit, the damn car is going. Here we go. Let's go ahead and try to catch up. Well, so much for using that truck as cover. I was actually going to use that truck as cover the whole way. We're getting closer and closer to the, um, to his destination now, though. The only thing I don't like about these missions, like I said, this guy really stopping all the red lights and everything, bro. It really, really do. But it give me a chance to talk to y'all and all this different type of stuff, bro. Nothing really been going on in my life, so really not nothing to really, like, talk, talk about. But it just give me a chance to, like, move my gums and commentate. Did the car just... Yeah, it, it just turned red. Holy shit. So we still telling this dude. We ain't really got nothing going on. I'm glad these cars not being aggravating. And uh, I'm trying to hunk and all this extra type of shit. But here we go. Like I said, I, I know we close. I forgot exactly what... Apartment complex he pull in. I think he turned. If it's not right here, then it's the next turn. Something like that. And he pull into some apartments. And then we um, follow him into his home. And then we get like a little cut scene or something like that. Yeah, here we go. Yeah, this it. These it right here. These it right here. These it. He should pull into these over. right here. Stop there it is. 
Now we should be able to go. Now we can like go all the way down without even, you know, making the scene hot. Now we just wait on this guy to get out, and then we can just follow him in his go house. In and have a word, Harvey Molina. Harvey Molina. Here we go. So yeah, we basically just following this dude in his house. You can just walk. That's what I usually do. You just walk. You don't have to like run and then if you walk, then you won't spook him. And it's like the perfect amount of space if you just like slowly walk. Maybe you can like jog a little bit to get in this house, but I usually just walk up here. Walk on up in here, wait for him to open the keys and all the different type of stuff. Like I said, by the time you just walk up, you should just go right in the house with him. You're getting too close to the janitor. Boom. You got another one of those, Harvey? Who are you? The guy with your best interests at heart. Fill your pockets with money, and all you got to do is take a little vacation. Hey, I work two jobs, man. Take any break I can get. Yeah. Hey, you want the beer? Nah, I'll just take the overalls. Oh, and your ID. It's in there. Oh, and Harvey. I probably don't need to say this, but you don't play ball? I'll be forced to do something I really don't want to do. Enjoy your beer. Simple as that, bro. <laughs> Got the overalls from the homie Harvey. My boy Harvey said, hey, bro, I'll take any break I can get. I work two jobs. I know that's real. I really, like, working two jobs, bro. Like, I don't get me wrong. Like, I would do it if I had to. I never worked two jobs, by the way. Like, if I, because like, I never really had to work two jobs. If I needed to, I would, but, like, my goal is to never, my goal is to never have to work for nobody again. So I really feel for people that work two jobs. Oh, yeah. Real tough. We gotta go back to my office. Here we go, bro. Back to the garment factory. But yeah, bro, working two jobs, like, man, you don't have no free time. And with me doing YouTube and all the different types of stuff, like, if I work two jobs, that that'll cut easy. so much time you from right. doing YouTube, Steve bro. I just, hey, I, I just can't do it, bro. I just can't. While you were in there, he's coming to meet us. Yeah, huh? What do we need him for? Grunt work. Information gathering. What information? The plans to the office. There aren't any digital copies, or if there are, I'm not clever enough to find them. The architect is LS based, so I thought Frank could tail him, take a hard copy. Sounds complicated. You sure you need these plans? Yeah, I do. If I'm gonna find a way to bypass a couple of hundred million dollars worth of government security. Millions? They blew that much. Government contracts, license to steal. Wow, we are in the wrong business. No, you've just taken the wrong contracts. Facts. <laughs> Holy shit, bro. I want to know what life like. What is life like being like a government agent? I know it's probably so much stuff that they know that they can't say, talk about or anything. Like, I don't know, bro. There's so much stuff that I'm glad I don't know. I'm the type of person, you know how some people, they want to know everything about everything. I'm the type of person, bro. I feel like I'm good. I don't want to know everything about everything. I'm cool. Ignorance is, ignorance uh, is bliss to me, on, you know, in certain in certain forms. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't have to know everything about the world and about how the government is doing this with these things and these people. Like, I'm cool on that, bro. Not me. I am straight. I just care about me, my household, and, and, and y'all. You feel me? <laughs> Other than that, I don't care about none of the rest of this shit. Hey, what's the problem, dog? Steve fucking hates. Of course it's Steve fucking Hain. It's always Steve Hain. That is not strictly true. It's either Steve Haynes or it's Trevor or it's his family. It's always one of them. Yeah, that's true. It is always one of them. Well, that old fuck with a horrible family and even worse friends. I told you, Franklin, I ain't a good role model. Yeah, whatever, dawg. It's either this or dealing dime bags. The bullets come cracking at your ass either way. Yeah, thanks. We need to find out something about this FIB building, a weakness or a way in. Next time I meet a morally destitute, totally delusional, highly corrupt government agent. I hope he's a nice one. Man, I'm not going in that motherfucker by myself. No, 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 nobody is going in. We need to do some recon. We need a little more information. She. I need the architectural plans, but they're not online anywhere. So I'm gonna need paper copies. Now the architect's name is Chip Peterson. This was his first big commission and the office is down in Backlot City. All right. Franklin, you go tell him for a little while, and then we'll talk. All right, dog, I got you. Try not to hurt yourself. Oh, good, good, good. All right, bro, there it is. So now we got to um get ready to switch over to Franklin. 
I think the moment you switch over to Franklin, bro, you um you actually could get the um start the mission, I believe. I don't know. But there it is, bro. So um you can actually go back to Michael real quick. Uh I think if I go back to Michael, that's how you get his family back or whatever. But real quick, I'm gonna switch over to Franklin and see about getting this um about getting this next mission. If not, if I if y'all don't see me as Franklin, that means the mission never started. And I'm gonna go ahead and go back to uh Michael real quick. We just gonna see. So give me one moment. Alright, so guys, I couldn't get the mission to start up as Franklin what we was telling the um architect. So I think we gotta do this next family mission. Um next Michael mission where he get his family back, bro. So I'm already right here. So let's go ahead and walk into this mission mark and get this started. spite you okay i just i get so mad and i can't control things and then you know shit just falls on top of me my life sucks right now and i don't know what to do except i want to say i love you and hug it out but all that wimpy shit is just well i'd say gay but i have some friends who are gay so that's not cool anymore and the ones that i don't really like it's not because they're gay so lame all right you are just a lame and angry psycho sometimes you do bad shit and things I don't know if I love you, and I'm pretty sure I hate you a little bit, but I'm just so fucking upset that we can't even see each other. And you're just a drunk, lame dad. You know what? That might just be the nicest thing anybody's ever said to me. So will you buy me a car? What? I mean, not in the so will you buy me a car kind of way, in a completely off topic, can you buy me a car? I mean, firstly, I'm a, a fat shit that you ruined. And, and secondly, I will get a job and I will stop smoking pot in that sort of way, okay? I love you too, son. Now, go, get a job. Cause I don't have the money to buy you a car. Besides which way, I'm probably gonna be dead in a couple weeks anyway. Please don't die, okay? It's great catching up with you too, Dad. Yeah. Hey, how's your mother? Oh, she's great. No, she's not. She's bored. I mean, all this mesmerizing, tantric sex she's been having with a much younger, better built, caring and compassionate man is great and all, but what's she gonna do for the other six hours of the day? What the fuck? I I'm just winding you up, you miserable bastard. She's mad at you. She's scared that you're gonna die, and she wants you to go over there and prove that you give a fuck. All right, all right, all right! I can take a fucking hint. Let's go. We'll get Tracy on the way. Tracy, on the other hand, she's a star. Sort of. I think my Hey, right, bro. It been a minute, bro, but we finally got Jimmy back in the store. <laughs> we finna go over here, bro, and go holler at Amanda and them real quick. Basically, like I said, this is basically the mission that um, Michael so, kind of get his family back. And there's a well, reason why I say kind of. You know, uh, I don't know stuff. No, I don't know. Well, what's been happening with you? Uh, thanks. It's been, it's... It's anyone's guess. Yeah. Yeah, I get it. You were out of the city? Sure, you guys were gone, so I thought I'd, you know... Let's maybe not pretend it was anything to do with us. Those beast Hispanic dudes with automatic weapons and blacked out windows? They kind of made me think it was an involuntary exodus. Yeah, okay. That'll work. There we go. I just like to get the um, dialogue out. Like I said, bro, I don't like when people play their games and they don't let the characters talk and they just drive right into the mission markers. That shit grinds my gears. Oh, okay, here they are. Come on, let's say hi. All right, here we go, bro. This is a this is another fun cutscene that y'all finna see right here. Your curling has been sluggish for weeks. A little bit 
less lifestyle guru and a little bit more. Uh, excuse me, I'm trying to write a screen. Shush, here. woman. Hey, Amanda. Fabian. Michael. Hi, Mom. Hi, Jimmy. These two, a picture of holistic well-being, I don't think. Hey. Maybe they shit once a year between them. Hey, oh! That's my son! Amanda, come. I have a new unit out on hold. You must pay for it. Hey! Hey! Buddy! I'm gonna ask politely that you show my wife a little respect. Red meat has been blocking your chi as well as your digestive tract. I ain't even gonna go there. I'm gonna ask you one time, nicely. Michael, just hit him, please. Shush, woman! Anything for you, sweetheart. What? Well, well, what are you doing? Ah! There's a lot more where that came from, Holmes. <laughs> Is he alive? <laughs> yeah, he's fine. Listen, Amanda. I want it. I'm meaning to say to you. I just... What he's trying to say, Mom, is that he's a pathetic, old, drunken mess, and he needs you. And you could do a lot better than a prima donna yoga instructor with an anal fixation. Someone say... Shut up! <laughs> I guess we could try. All I'm asking for is a shot. Neutral ground. Dr. Friedlander's office. It's perfect. All of us. I'll pick up Tracy and bring her there. Meet you? Fine. All right, you. Come on. Get up, you idiot. Uh, yoga? No. No yoga. Uh, uh, All right. You know where your sister is, right? Yeah. Let's go. Wait, 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 but what about that sugar, caffeine, and emulsified pig fat flavored beverage I want? Another time. Oh. Come on, I want one too. Later. I think Tracy's over at the tattoo parlor. All right, bro. So that was the um little in, in, in engagement or whatever you want to see with Fabian and um, Amanda. Now we better go to this damn Tracy tattoo parlor tattoo. and go holler at Tracy and Laszlo. Laszlo, Laszlo, guys there. Laszlo that asshole. What's he want? It's Tracy that wants something. She wants to get back on fame or shame after you and Uncle T cut her cameo short. Well, maybe we ought to help her out with that. Maybe we ought to. Hey, let me ask you. Back there with your mom. That went okay, didn't it? Anything that ends with Fabian's burst eardrum is more than okay with me. Yeah, I mean with me and your mom. I think it's an important first step in, like, the direction of okay, if you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah, I know what you mean. All right, bro. Here we go, bro. <laughs> this this person is funny as hell too, bro. We finna literally abuse Laszlo. Here we go. Let's go ahead and get on up in here. I'm finna just go and run. We finna get in here quick, bro. Cause this one, this part right here is insane. The stuff that Laszlo finna go through is insanity. You know, says I'm capable of violence, but I'm awesome in the sack. So listen, babe. If you want to make it in Vinewood, you gotta do whatever it takes, even if <laughs> whatever it takes is a depressed borderline alcoholic who hosts the third most popular talent show amongst the 40 year old female demographic so you'll let me on the show if i blow you yes and if you could wear some black lipstick the little guy loves the goth vibe oh whoa, whoa. laszlo <laughs> dude that was entirely out of context bro jim you find the ink slinger sit on him laszlo here's gonna have a little cosmetic work done no please whoa whoa, whoa. stay put you lame ass mark uh, sure kid what Oh, uh, uh, that boy Jimmy got real gangsta over these past on. little, oh, oh these past few um missions or whatever. Here, you fucking psycho! Oh, just when I thought I was bigger than radio, Jesus! Ah, you made me a pouty fucking hipster. Ah, we is literally You're piercing the shit out of this man. Ah, ow! Oh, oh, that looks pretty. Here, let's get rid of this. Ah. Oh my god! Papa Bear! What's daddy number two gonna think about this? Let's not get him involved. Let's do The thing about this mission, bro. The thing about this mission, I feel like Laszlo enjoyed this way more than he should, bro. I'ma do it on the chest though. We were actually finna tattoo this man. Look, are you gonna tell me what you're drawing or, or is it a surprise? Bro, for him to be getting a tattoo, like a struggle tattoo on his chest, he is taking this really well. Tattoos hurt. Don't. Should I draw his three pubic hairs? 
There we go. Bro got a dick on his chest, bro. That's tough. You got like a camera phone or a mirror? I can... Oh, yeah, I'll get you a mirror. Smash you over the head with it. Too fast. Oh, 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 oh. Sniff, sniff. Oh, this is a real one stop shop. When I get nervous, I evacuate my bowels. It's seeping out. This man dead wrong. Time to cut the ponytail. Oh. No, that's my that's my signature, my ponytail. Now I gotta get extensions. No, what you gotta get is my daughter, whatever she wants. Yeah, without sucking on your piddle stick. Look, okay, guys, that was a joke. I'm a clown. I'm a sad, lonely little clown. Hey, you're gonna put her on your show, and you're gonna make sure she looks good. Look, okay, I got a lot of juice in this town, but I mean, I'm not a miracle. Just do it. <sighs> yeah. All right. All right, Trace, let's go. We gotta get to the therapist. What? So, I'll like call you or something, okay? <laughs> Bye. There's never a family that needs therapy. <laughs> My pony. How do I look? It's not good, is it? Who knew you could use a tattoo gun? It's one of those skills you pick up in prison. You know, inking your name on your Sully's ass. Ew. Are you serious? Come on. No. Oh. Not quite. Yeah, bro, he weird for that, bro. <laughs> that boy Michael out here inking his name on his sailor's booty. Y'all out here doing that, ain't it? Ain't it? Go let me know in the comments section. How many of y'all? How many of y'all out here inking y'all names on y'all on y'all sailor's so butt, bro? Y'all doing that, bro? Y'all doing that? I know y'all is. Hey, this was your mother's idea. Well, I guess it beats yoga. Huh? Now he beats yoga, literally. Like Fabian around the head with the laptop? Oh yeah, like pow! Our old man released the dude's inner tranquility all over the bean machine bad. To be honest, and I know it's karmically bad, but yeah, I fucking hate that dude. Yeah, I know, right? Show up his own ass. You're a fucking contortionist. Whoopee. I contort my junk all day long and I don't act all superior about it. Just a little ashamed and empty inside. Overshare. Hey, guy was talking smack to your mother. Well, I applaud you, Pop. Here, here. You're like finally like using your powers of selfishness and rage for like good. Not an objective universal good, but like a subjective what's in our best interest kind of good. Fuck yeah, awesome. Let's rob somebody. <laughs> do it, Dad. Yeah, do, do it. it. Do, do it. it. Enough, okay? I love that we're getting along, but knock it off. Yeah, don't like actually rob a liquor store. That might like kill the mood. Fucking therapy. Let's do that shit. Hey, how about you just let your mom and me talk, okay? We got some issues we gotta iron out. And seeing as you two aren't into it, you could just sit there and be quiet. That's cool with me. I got all the prescriptions I need, at, at least for the meantime. Thank you. <laughs> I always found that little dialogue right there to be funny, bro, because the kids really, the kids really was out this bitch hyping Michael up to rob somebody. Like, <laughs> Holy shit, bro. I don't know how I would feel in this situation. But Micah really been a dad. Like, bro got into, like, immediate dad mode real fast. Like, got, you got to love it, bro. But here we go, bro. We on our way to Dr. Freelander. And it's crazy because I actually forgot about Dr. Freelander. It's a few, um, it's a few phone calls and all the different type of stuff that, um, we're supposed to end up talking to um, talking to Freelander with, but I just forgot about him. But here we go. We're going back to this guy. Like I said, Dr. Freelander is a okay. scumbag. Real talk, Let's though. Go inside. No lie. Okay. Amanda. Hello. Good to see you again. Michael, I'm so glad. Isn't this great? Fantastic. Michael, be positive. I am being positive. <clears throat> this is me being positive. Give it up, Michael. The sarcasm. It's one of the reasons I moved out. It's beneath you. No, it's not, Amanda. Trust me. Nothing's beneath me. No, normally there's a whore beneath you. <laughs> you know, for someone who spends every waking moment working on themselves inside and out, I gotta tell you, the progress has been really fucking slow. How would you know what progress is like, you stupid murdering shit? Uh, gee, because all you do is whine at me. Oh, all I do is whine. Michael, could you please stop murdering people? Michael, could you please stop endangering me and the both of your children? You kill people and then you sit in the sun and drink and feel 
guilty about it. That is not work. I don't see you complaining on the way to the fucking bank. Look at Tracy and Jimmy, bro. <laughs> Let's face it, Amanda. We're trailer trash, you and me. We were taught to do this. Get a center, Michael. You have no center. How about you suck my cock? Huh? No, wait. We'll both get a center before that ever happens. You are such a fucking animal, a deranged animal. You're fucking ain't right on deranged. How could I not be? I should have had you locked up years ago, you stupid Do it. shit. Do it. I'll put you in the fucking ground with the rest of them. And that's really all the time we have. Oh, but... great. I think we made some real progress there. Oh, uh, Michael. <laughs> I hope this goes without saying, but family work is a little more expensive. What, double? Squared. <laughs> of course. Take care now. Hey, so you gonna come home with me or what? Guess we'll give it a try. All right, then. Kids! So, will you drive us home? Alright, bro, here we go. <laughs> I don't they made the man free land the time or something, they made real progress there. They literally didn't do shit but yell at each other and Michael threatened to smoke her shit if she tried to turn them in, goddamn. What was that? I don't get it. I don't get it at all, bro. Time to move beyond screaming at each other. That was cathartic. Catharsis all over my face. Ooh, I got a warm fuzzy feeling. Probably just the meds you rated. Okay. Cathartic. All right. I just don't want it to be more of the same. Now you're the one making the demands? No, 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 not demands. I, I, I'm saying you're right. Something was broke, and we got to work at fixing it. We do. All of us. Yes, Mom. For real, peeps. Because I started to understand something in there. No one else gets this family. Not Dr. Friedlander, or my yoga teacher, or our tennis coach, or the juice guy, or the dog walker. Oh, or, hey, hey. Oh. Or Jimmy's third grade teacher. Or the trash guy. Or dad's proctologist. Or the guy that thinks he's Jesus on Vespucci Beach. Or the hippie bum who thinks the world is ending. We're stuck with each other. I mean, how do you explain faking our deaths, changing our names, all the lying to the FIB? That monster, Trevor. There's no explaining, Uncle T. Hey, is he coming to the next therapy session? What? No. No. Jeez. Just one thing, Michael. Don't get us killed. And don't get killed. Can you do that? I'll give it my best shot. With every fiber of my being, I will do whatever it takes to make sure it doesn't happen. Promise. And no more hookers or other women. Yeah, Dad. Gross. You're better than that, Pop. Uh, guys, I'm not really comfortable having this conversation. Just keep it in your pants, okay? Yeah, it's so demeaning how you treat women. I find that blast part crazy. How they gonna try to come at Michael about sleeping with um hookers or whatever, you know, before the game, because I haven't done that as planned as Michael. But this man, they literally went down a list of all the people a man to slept with. From 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 the from the yoga teacher to the tennis coach to the to the to the guy that think he Jesus on the Spoochie Beach and the bum, which the last two people you can actually meet. You can actually meet the bum that think the world about the end, and you can meet the guy that think he Jesus on the Spoochie Beach. But nobody came at Amanda like, oh my God, mom, keep that cat. You know what I'm saying in the litter box or some shit. Like they just came at him all types of crazy. <laughs> Holy shit, bro. The life of being a man, I guess. I don't know. Kids, rooms. If you find dead bodies, cheap women, or Trevor Phillips, we're checking into the Rockford Hills Hotel. Mission pass, reuniting the family. And yeah, I knew about this one, bro. The, um, the only way you can pass this mission is to do the mission time, which you basically gonna have to like skip cutscenes and stuff to get that, to be honest. I think we're gonna switch over to Franklin automatically, and we're gonna be able to do this next. Um, well, now it's not Franklin. We're switching over to Trevor, look like it. The 
morning after the night before. Ooh. Holy shit, look at this man. This man literally, I remember this too, bro. I remember this. This was one of the um, scenes you can come back and um, see. I don't remember him being in his underwear, though. But these are the Lost MC bikers. <laughs> Holy shit, dude. These are the Lost MC bikers, bro. That's crazy. But um, what I'm going to try to do is, bro, I'm going to try to switch over to Franklin and see if I can finally get this tailing mission going on. And if I can, then I'll go ahead and do it. But if not, I might end up having to end the video here, though. But give me one sec. Let's see if we can get this mission crunk up. Franklin, man, I'm following the architect. All right, don't fuck it up. All right. Here we go, bro. So as y'all seen, bro, we actually got the mission to um to spawn in, bro. So let's go ahead and do this. Hey, stupid! You can't be on here without a hat. Yeah, thanks a lot. That like. I don't I don't get I don't get this game sometimes. It's so many game scenes that go on in this, bro. Like it's so much stuff that makes no sense. Like you just see some random guy not even in somewhat of a uniform, of a construction worker uniform. Get just walk on this 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 progress, this building that's being made or whatever, and you just automatically throw him a hat talking about something. Hey stupid, you can't be on here without a hat. That don't make sense. Like you didn't, you didn't ask this man who he is, what his business here, none of that. You just give him a hat and tell him to go on by his day. Those idiots drilled the new caissons on the west side. You're kidding me. The bedrock ends there. We need caissons on the east side. Ah, uh, no drama. It's a government contract. We'll be paid until completion. I ain't taking a fall for this screw up. It's a government contract. No one's taking a fall, except the government. <laughs> I, want, I ain't never did construction work a day in my life though but I definitely know like it's some construction workers that really think like that like come on bro it's government contract like I ain't gotta worry about nothing until um until it's completed I don't know I can do government work though I don't like being outside in the hot I'm a very like what is what is it I like being cold like I don't like being hot at all Study him and study him hard. I was gonna wipe my ass on him. That's the engineer's plan. Mine you treat like a religious text, remember? Yeah, that's it. Here we go. I went on ahead and head behind that wall though. Cause I don't remember. I don't know if he turned around at any point in this um in this mission. I don't think he do. But I just wanted to be safe because he could end up turning around though. This actually remind me of that mission in um in Red Dead Redemption 2 when you follow in um uh, what's her name's dad? What her name is, Mary, Mary Linton, when Arthur and, and her following um his dad, her dad around, and then he end up turning around a few times and stuff. I don't know. I don't think he do this though. <laughs> I really don't like Mary Linton, bro. Um, I, I do hate it for all you guys that like really enjoy Mary Linton, aka La Arthur's love interest. I hate that lady. I think she's god awful. What? Bow, go to sleep, motherfucker. Let me go ahead and get this boom. And then the thing that, that's crazy to me is the fact like, watch this. Look, look, look at this, bro. These guys, these two co um, these two construction workers right here, the ones over this way. I'ma just can I climb up right here? Yeah, here we go. Let me see if I can finesse it. Come on. Come on, Frank. Come on, Frank. Jump. Jump. Ah, oh, damn. Gee, I can't get over. Ah, oh, damn. Alright, let's just go around like a normal person. I thought I could finesse it. But the thing is, bro, I know these two dudes, these two construction worker dudes, seen that architect walk past them with this damn briefcase, and I know they seen Franklin follow him with and leave with this same briefcase. You don't, like, I ain't gonna lie, like, in reality, I probably wouldn't have said nothing neither because it's not my business. That's just the type of person I am. I ain't no, you know, it ain't my business. I ain't got nothing to do with that. But at the end of the day, I would at least thought to myself, like, that's that damn briefcase that old buddy had. And after he would have left, I would have at least went back and was like yeah something ain't right <laughs> bro did something to somebody like that's crazy to me but i'm gonna be able to leave this entire place bro with this damn with this damn briefcase and ain't nobody gonna bat an eye ask a question be like hey where you get that damn bag from nothing it's crazy to me it's crazy but hey i ain't gonna lie to you y'all know my saying with all this stuff video games got a video game that's just that's just what i that's just what i say here we go, though. Let's go ahead and drop this off at the garment factory real quick. And we're pretty much had this done, bro. Unfortunately, like I said, I'm, I, I hate that I couldn't get 
this um this bureau raid done in this one but it's crazy because every time i try to do a heist and i try to like do the setups and the heist within the same like mission you know within the same video i mean i always forget about the extra little missions that you have to do before you actually get to the heist like i actually keep forgetting about that so i don't know we just gonna go ahead and just do the um the bureau raid either in the next mission or i mean not next mission the next video or the video after that which is, you know, unfortunately, I do apologize, but I just don't want to make these videos hella long. You know what I mean? At least it wasn't my plan to. Okay, Michael here, too. I don't know if this startup, I think because we got like a, um extra set of missions and stuff that we got to do, too, if I'm remembering correctly. I could be wrong, though. Here we go. Do I got, yeah, we go in here. Here we go. Ah, it's crack. Hey, you got him? Yes, I do, homie. Here. Thank you. So, all good? Sure, homie. So is this shit for real? We just gonna rob the FIB and be allowed to walk by your boys like that? Yeah, I don't fucking know. Probably not. All right, Lester, what do you got? Uh, I don't quite know yet. Give me a minute. I'm not a fucking computer. Oh. Oh. Oh, maybe I am. <laughs> Here's what I think. We have two options. The new security software goes into containment mode in case of emergency, you know, uh, earthquakes, mudslides, acts of God. So we could plant some firebombs. They go bang, the emergency call goes out. We hijack it, show up as firemen, and then we grab the containment drive. Or we could hack the system on site. We'll go in by, uh, by air. Uh, hope we don't run into too much physical resistance. Sounds relaxing. Either bombing our office ran by the division of corrupt government psychos or defeating one of the world's most complex security systems using our worthless ass ninja skills, huh? Yeah. Any, many, money, mo. If you favor the firebomb containment drive option, you'll go in with that janitor's ID you picked up. It'll be at night when most of the workers are off. You mop the place and plant the bombs where we need them. Seriously? I got a mop? Yeah, yeah, you really do. They'll clock you on the cameras if you're play-acting. You also need a fire truck to show up in when the bombs go off, and a getaway car stashed in a quiet place near the bureau so you can torch the truck and get out. The car doesn't have to be anything special. There shouldn't be any heat. Well, what about the other way, with the uh, ninja skills? Now you choose that route, you won't be using the janitor's gear, but we had to cover all the bases. Your FIB paymasters will have to provide you with a chopper and a pilot. Now you fly way up above the building, parachute in, and gain access through the roof here. Now you'll need to be armed to the teeth, mind you, just in case the uh, shit goes down. Mopping or parachuting? Wow, you're making this choice really difficult. Now Haynes has given us the leftover money from the Polito job to pull this mission, and the crew will be paid out of that. We keep the change. So, what's it gonna be? Alright, bro. With this one, I'm going roof entry. The reason why I'm going roof entry is because I like this one. And this is the exact style of mission. Y'all gonna if y'all played the contract DLC, which I'm pretty sure a lot of y'all have, that mission where you go in and break into the FIB building is pretty much the exact same thing as that mission. And it's just fun. I'm just gonna go with this one, and this is the one I'm gonna choose. You can do the fire crew, and the fire crew is okay as well. But I think both of these missions end up ending the same or you know so it ended up like meeting in the middle some type of way but we're gonna do the roof entry of course now you'll need a, a hacker a gunman and a driver the hacker won't come in with you but they'll help you break the system talking you through the process from a remote location all right so here we go bro so as for the hacker i'm going back with ricky ricky um like i said you can pretty much do this with ricky ricky get better and better as the time go by and yeah i'm gonna pick ricky for the hacker ricky I know he didn't do so good at the jewelry store, but he's probably gotten better, and he's still the same price. I don't know how long it'll take you to get into the network. The gunman's there to buy you the time you need. And I think I'm gonna go with Daryl. I could get Hugh, but I think I'm gonna go with Daryl, though. Um, I don't really remember which one of these guys I ended up using the last time. Oh, the last person I used, the last gunman in the jury store heist, he actually ended up dying. So, I'm gonna go with Daryl. Daryl seemed to be a little bit better than Hugh. And he, and he cheaper as well. So, we're gonna go with Daryl. Daryl, uh, I'm not hearing great things, to be honest. But you just might be able to do this with him. 
The driver will be waiting outside on getaway. They'll source a vehicle, so bear that in mind. Yeah, here we go. So with the driver, bro, you could just use Kareem Dance. He got way better since the last time in the um, Jury Store Heist. And yeah, he definitely gonna, he gonna, he gonna do his stuff fizzle in this. Kareem. I know Frank didn't dig his driving after the jewelers, but he's probably learned something. And his rate's still the same. This is a protected federal building. Are you absolutely sure this is how you want to take it? Yes, this is exactly how I want to take it. This is how I'm going to do this. And I hope y'all enjoy it. And we have a winner. I'll make the arrangements and call you when we're ready. All right, shit, hit. You know, um, I'm still looking into that union depository gig. It's real interesting. But I don't know if we can do it without you know who. Uh, well, as long as he can't do it without us. Okay. <sighs> All right, bro, and that's that, bro. Pretty much. So we got the architect's plan, which quick getaway, which you know is is isn't what I got. Basically, you just had to leave with within under a minute. I think that's how I go. But all right, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and end this video here. When we come back. My goal is to have the the Furo, the um the Bureau raid done in that next mission. I think we got us another Solomon mission to do, so we can crank that out. Maybe I have to do that before we do the Bureau raid. So if that's the case, then we'll start the next video with that. Then we'll try to get the Bureau raid into this. Hold on, what is this? Hey, Sugar Plum. Daddy, I'm in trouble. What is it? Money? Drugs? Your mother? There's this guy. He's been following me around. I think he's about to do something. You know what? I was going in this video. We gonna help Tracy Where real quick. Vinewood Plaza. Okay, wait there. He's been following me in my car, so let's just drive around and you can talk to him when he shows. Oh yeah, we'll talk. All right, here we go, bro. I was going in the video here. I was in like mid, I was in like mid outro mode, but Tracy ended up calling us. So y'all get a few extra minutes of me. <laughs> Holy shit, let's go, bro. We're gonna go save Tracy. Then after this, then we'll um in this video. But yeah, bro, uh, I actually do remember this um mission right here. This mission, like I said, Tracy ended up becoming like a famous phone porno girl or some shit like that. And um she ended up, like I said, she ended up getting like some crazy fans. And this is one of the crazy fans that actually like decided to stalk her and follow her around and all this different type of shit. So now we gotta go save her. Find out who the dude is and to get and try to get him to basically leave our daughter alone, which is something that I'm all for. If y'all don't know, I do want a daughter in real life. Like I want a daughter so bad. Daddy, daddy, get in, going. I just want to argue with her. I, <laughs> I know that's like crazy. Like damn, you want you want a daughter to argue fine. with her, but I do. <laughs> I want to argue with my daughter. I really do. Like I'm gonna argue with my daughter. Like she gonna have me messed up. Okay, I'll keep an eye out. Thanks, Daddy. Hey, hey what are dads for, huh? Facts. Here we go, though. Giving you money, putting a roof over your head, speaking to guys who ridicule you on TV. Passing out drunk in front of old movies, screaming at boys I'm dating, freaking out when a cop car drives past. I get it. I get it. Ah, right, here we go. Why are we stopped? What's happening? Is he no here? Way. No, he's not around. Try that motel opposite the big construction site. Yeah, bro, so what we doing is we basically we're basically driving around trying to find this uh, guy that been stalking Tracy. What are you signing? A pot petition? Yo, you better not be taking out credit like your brother. Not credit. Here we go. Let's go ahead and pull up. I'm trying to just make sure they get their dialogue out before I continue these, See him? these um, waypoints. I don't think so. Maybe we should look over at Cluck and Bell, Rockford Plaza. I, I was signing autographs at the oh. expo. People want to meet you after that video on fame or shame? Yeah, yeah, the videos. Hey man, oh, sure. well now you just gotta find a way to make money out of it. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, she don't want to tell Michael what she really been doing. <laughs> like I said, she been she been doing like phone porn or some type of video porn or some shit. She been doing while she was gone, while she was moved out. That's what she been doing. Girls a celebrity with their very own stalker. You finally made it, Dad. You raise your kids in Rockford Hills. What was I thinking? 
Yeah, it's amazing you've turned out this good. Okay, you around here? Ah, purple car, that's him! Fuck, he's on you! Let's go! Alright, we gotta stop his car. So basically all you gotta do is just keep ramming it, spinning him out and all this different type of shit. And he'll eventually stop. Hey, what are you running for, pal? Let's talk! Seriously! I didn't know she already had a sugar daddy! This man said he didn't know she already had a sugar daddy. I'm weak. I'm not so creepy when there's a grown man in the car. I swear he was gonna do something, Dad. Yeah, well now we're the ones who are gonna do something. All kinds of things. There we go. Stop the car. Stop hey, the freaking people. car. I'm her father, not a sugar daddy. You've raised her. There we go. Now with this right here, bro, you can actually like, you can like kill him or you can let him go. My thing is, bro, I'm going to piece him up real quick, bro. Now I ain't going to piece him up. <laughs> but you can let him live. I'm going to let him live, bro. Yeah, he get it. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to kill him. Holy shit. Did they really knock the door off? Somebody definitely knocked the door off. The door is back there. Go, right? He got the message. Yeah, I think he got the message. There we go. And we can take Trace. I don't know. She actually like really close to the house. I don't know if they're having a dialogue during this time. So I'm going to drive around a little bit. Just to see if they Let's talk about anything. Yeah, here we go. like he's going to turn up at your next fan club AGM. The fan club's gone national. That's amazing PR, Pop. I might... Hey, stop it. Be careful next time. Would you mind if I leaked this? Leaked what? I thought we had you potty trained two decades ago. Ew, I meant bleed it or something. No bleeder, no life invader, no whatever else you got. Being this public with your life is what got you into this situation. But it'll really boost my profile. You got creep stalking you. I'd say your profile is plenty boosted already. <laughs> I swear to God, bro, like this, <laughs> I ain't gonna say these type of conversations I want to have with my daughter, but like stuff like this is why I is want a daughter. okay with you? Like, no one's about to kill you, are they? No one wants to kill me. What about? All right, all right. Some people want to kill me, but they're not gonna. Hey, you think I'm gonna cash out just when one of my kids is starting to do so well? I find your sarcasm really supportive. I'm sorry. Just stop doing stupid things. Please. That's funny coming from you. Do what I say, not what I do. We've been over this a hundred times. I don't like that saying, do as I say and not as I do. I mean, I get it, but I don't like that saying because that's that's like the most hypocritical saying of all time. So, that last little guy been in touch? Yeah, he wanted to say thanks for the makeover. <laughs> <laughs> Tell him don't mention it. So, is he going to put you on the show? Yeah, I think so. Good. Listen, I'm glad this is happening for you, but you still got to go to college. Uh, sure. College, of course. Right after I'm on fame or shame and get an agent and all the other stuff. All right, here we go. I think that's the end of the um, dialogue. So now we can finally go on. Like I said, bro, I do apologize if y'all don't really care for the dialogue. I just like it. That's just me. I'm just that type of person, bro. When I watch other people playthroughs of Grand Theft Auto or... In the game where it's like a lot of dialogue while you're driving and stuff, I like to actually hear the dialogue and I want to hear it all the way to the end. No creepy stalkers in this joint, honey. Just creepy brothers, killers, drug dealers. Here we go. I, I need to apologize to my daughter for breaking her car door. I'm glad I could use my paternal rage productively for once. And there it is, bro. So we actually got the chance to save. Uh, <laughs> we actually got a chance to save Tracy, bro. So now I can actually end this damn video here, guys. <laughs> That's funny because that happened mid-outro, real talk. But all right, guys. Any and all support y'all dropping this video, so I appreciate it. Like, comment, subscribe if you're new. And as always, be easy. Take care.